everyone i'm gonna share with you how to make the wallet this is super easy it's made by request for so many many people and um it take a while for me to get here to this wallet because i have a lot of requests and not all the requests i'll be able to do because sometimes it's like uh, i don't feel right to do so um so anyway so i cut the interface in here this is um a little thick interface in and this size is a09 and um, I have cut 11 inches wide and 18 inches long so I'm going little at the time for you I'm using the interface and as the template so first I'm gonna fold it in half so I can mark the center that the center Okay, so on the bottom here, to the left and to the right, you're going to mark three inches each on the left and the right. So three inches right here and then three inches right here. Now I'm going up three inches. Make sure it's even. It's very important. So I'm going up here three inches. From here, I'm going to connect all the way from the other side. So one end to the other end. Three inches. Sometimes the um, the template it take a few minutes for me already. Okay, so now I'm gonna connect this. Okay, so now I have that line. After you connect the straight line on the left right here, you're going to go up three and a half inches. Three and a half. On this side, you're going to do a three and a half. Connect this up. Make sure it's, it's even, okay, everyone? Very important. Three and a half. I'm going up this way. Right in the center right here, I'm going to go in three and a half. And I'm connected three and a half with the line right here. Okay, so now you have something like that. It's very easy if you pay attention, everyone. From here, you're going to go all the way up. From this line, you're going to go straight up. You have to connect that. And here, you're going to connect this to all the way up to the top. Like that. The whole straight line like that. Okay. And on this side right here, this is from here to here, that three and a half right there. You're going to go up another one inch from the line right here. You're going up another one inch. Very, um, pause the video if you think it's, um, confusing, okay? And it's here. I'll go four and a half because one inch is bigger. So connect this line. Like, be able to share the template. But I will draw a picture where it's, you know, thing go. But it's not for you to print out as a template, okay? It's for you to look at it and make exactly the way it should be, okay? So now I have this here. Six in, six in, six inches. Three inches up, okay? And then going up to here, this is three and a half inches. By six in, six in, three and a half six in four and a half and the rest okay so on the top here i'm going to mark one inch one inch and a quarter an inch and a quarter
go. And now I have something like this. That is this, okay? So when you see in my description, I will draw a picture. It's not a template, but I draw the picture with the measurement. So you can look at that picture and use it, stack the paper to make your own templates. Because the paper like this, it cannot go into the full size of the printer, okay? And um, so for this, you're going to use two paper, two fair fabric, one for the main side of the fabric, the wallet. So for this, you need two fabric, one for the lining and one for the main. Okay. So to iron the fabric, because the way of my fabric cut and everything, I have to go in this way. And um, this is the Japanese fabric I used today for this project. And this is the main side and then the back side I'm going to use a different lining color. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to iron this. This is heavy weight interfacing. So when you turn the iron on, you're going to turn the medium, medium first. Don't turn it all the way up here. It's going to be very hot. And then you're going to go from the sides like this. Gently iron on the side. Just don't pull though, just iron gently. Don't press the um, so hard on it and don't pull, okay, like this. Now I have that one side is going down. You see how easy that is? Now this is big. So you're gonna do on a one side, okay? If not, I'm flipping over to the right side and I iron on the fabric like normally I do. And so when I iron, on the fabric, I make sure that I have an extra around at least a quarter of an inch or more. I'm gonna go around and cut an extra a quarter of an inch or so all around and then after that I place in the lining and I cut another one exact the same size. So everyone after I iron the interfacing I cut a quarter of an inch all around. If you're not comfortable with a quarter of an inch you can go half an inch everyone as long as you have the interfacing cut the right way that that the way we do okay let's just add the button for now so we cut a magnet button everyone okay so let's do the lining piece with the button i'm gonna fold the flap in half so i can mark the center mark the center right here okay so now i am going to add a piece of interfacing okay quarter of an inch i'm gonna add it right there iron it this is the back side the right in the center that we marked earlier that that an inch and i use this place and i put the place right at the hole we would just mark and mark on the two sides that are I don't understand. So now this is one size is on. So when you look it in here, everyone's one on the bottom right here, that the one that we add the button. Okay. So let's fold the last one. This is the curve and this is the straight one. Okay. We're going to fold it in half. The center line is right there still. Okay, if you don't do the mark, I'm just telling you the mark because I need to go on the back side here. So from here, I'm an inch and a quarter. It's right here.
Sorry, everyone. Before I, I just remember to tell you the beginner. Um, before I forget to tell you, when you add the button, remember this is not an even. This is small and this is big. Make sure you place the right side of the man to the right side of the lining. Then you figure that out where the button go. That's the easiest way. So if you place in this way. And you know that later on this one going to be the button. And this side going to be down for another the snap to go back. So you do that. You're going to make sure you place that the right way. If you do that on the other side. If you place this in the other side. This big side will be over here and it won't be good. Okay. Just a little note for you. Place it on first and then you know where to add the button just want to note that not not a big deal but it's a big deal when you do it wrong not wrong but by mistake to sew by follow the interface and but on here you go on to leave about three inches or so open so you're gonna start from here you're gonna go around go into here whatever the interface and stop you stop and then you continue to go all the way all away around all away all around out to here and stop leave this open so you can inside out everyone so everyone i also cut in here that is two and a half inches by six inches long and i fold it in half fold it in half again and half again and then fold it like this so the top and the bottom and then after that i have the the ring like this it's come together with the hook and the ring and the adjustable thing too yeah, check in my description so after you sew you're gonna go into here right in the middle like this and then you're going to sew this together sew this right here and then at the end you're gonna sew at the end too okay so everyone after i sewed in this and then this if you want to make this at the wristless then you have to measure your wrist and cut normally about like 10 into maximum 14 inches and you can cut in three inches in four exact the same and at the ring here you know whatever they like normally we do or we don't have to and then at the end right together like that it just fold and so the end you don't need to do anything in here if you want to make at the wrist list okay um so if i i usually do make it small but if i you go by my side of the wrist you probably fit on your thumb but anyway so you gotta measure your own wrist to be able to come up with your measurement okay so now after i sew like this put it on the side and now with the interface and like this because i leave it longer um i'm gonna go and trim just a bit on the side normally i don't have to but not gonna hurt the trim a little bit you see in this corner right here go snip it right in there like that okay not not at the sole line but a little bit so when you inside out is that gonna lie up for you nicely okay go right to the corner and then just do that okay don't cut too close to the sole line because i don't know okay now you're gonna go trim around if you want to you can trim with the um, pink and sheer but there's no need to because the interface is going to help a lot
I cut because I left it longer than the quarter of an inch. So I don't want it too bulky in here. So I cut everyone, but not I cut every one of you. I cut. That's how I talk. So you go on the top that this bottom and on this side top that this one the on the left and then on this side you top that on this side so everyone after I top that the left the top right and the bottom so now we have to add this on here okay so a quarter up and ends away from this on the left side the left side have the small one and this here okay the line inside i'm working on the line inside okay so like a quarter up and ends away from that i'm going to add this on just right on this side you're going to sew this first you're gonna sew this in so just sew right on the the line that you sew earlier on the quarter up and then show everyone after i sewed it in there you can make the wristlet at this time if you know that for now when before you sold it here you don't want to add it this time you can do that before you inside out this thing so you from this side right here you go on up about half an inch and then you go on to turn the wristlet you know the two ends right here and then that thing from the inside and so all around and then you inside out that's the way you can have the wristlet already there when you sew but i don't want the wristlet i just want that small thing okay so now we're going to go from the big side the the one that on the right you're going to fold it to the left when you fold it to the left you see how it meet up right there you can iron this if you want to so it can stay down after that you're gonna fold the left to the right And make you make sure you iron this. But if you want, you can divide this into two before you sew it in. Take this, divide in two, and sew this straight line down. Okay, if you want to do that way, one fold it up. When you fold it up, you're going to make sure everything lie up nicely. Every single one in here lie up nicely. Like that. So beautiful.
you can sew the bottom here if you want to sew you can too but I don't think the need of me to sew the bottom part so I'm gonna sew here on the side go around the top go in the flap go on to this left side so go ahead and sew Oh, everyone, I finished. Look at this pocket. That one, two, and three. Super easy. Remember what I told you. Divide this if you want from inside before you flap in this. Okay? So let's just see how. And then you're going to flap it down the side. Oh my goodness. The crane going up that way. Here, that the measurement of the wallet is four and a half inches side by side six inches stand this pocket this way i mean the um, the card this way if you want any way you want okay just stand this i cut exactly the same of the um, the credit card so you have an idea that is that you can add more if you want and then you can add some money and some change it's all up to you whatever okay And if you have change, you can put on on the other side too. It's up to you. Go on in. More credit card to put on this side to go like this or to go like this. It's all up to you. It go all the way down. You see? But I just want to leave it up here so you can see that we can add more credit card. Okay. more and more to add in i cut exactly the same side everyone so it, it go all the way in i'm just doing this so you can see okay like that everyone super easy and now close this up and then you can hold it like this you can click on something else too if you want it's beautiful fabric everyone stay safe take care thank you so much for watching i just know that when i check my, my channel and it's like 65% people watching my video that haven't been subscribed to my channel. When you watch my video, let me just show you um, how to click on the like button to support me, everyone. It's really not hard. So, it's like it's this. If you're watching the video, the under here this is my logo that's my channel logo and that is the thumb up the like button right there everyone click on that it's not my pink comment click on this like button to help me some video i have look at this video i have like 2000 something people view but i have like 300 people like so make sure you support my channel by click on the like button to help me love you stay safe